Hi everybody, I'm John Bilfus, executive chef of Lula's Louisiana Cookhouse in the heart of beautiful Owasso, Michigan. Currently shuttered due to the pandemic. And what is the date today? Today is July 3rd. And that's why I'm putting out this quickie video for you. There's not gonna be any, you know, jokes, imaginary Sarah, poignant stories about the family. Just a really good quick recipe for 4th of July. And I sure hope you enjoy it. This is my curried shrimp rolls out of this world. Uh, it's all Morgan and I have pretty much eaten all week and I uh, uh, sure hope you enjoy them. Here's everything you're gonna need to make these awesome shrimp rolls. I have two pounds of shrimp peeled and deveined. These are raw, 21, 25s is what I have. Those are a little big, I'm gonna cut them in half when we're done here. I've got about a cup, cup and a quarter of minced celery, one medium red onion minced, very important ingredient, key to it all, is s and Oriental Curry Powder. You can buy this at any Oriental market or online, uh, but man, I wouldn't, have, I wouldn't go without having some of this in my house at all times, and Hellman's Mayonnaise. Oh yeah, one more thing, about a half a cup of minced cilantro. If you don't like cilantro, don't put it in. You could put parsley if you want, or you could just omit it totally. I'm gonna bring a pot of water to a boil. I've added one lemon that I cut in half. If you don't have a lemon, don't worry about it. And I'm gonna add the shrimp right on in. Now I made this yesterday, so I know uh, it took about three and a half minutes to cook the shrimp. And that's about right for this size, which you might wanna do depending on the size of your shrimp. Pull one out after a couple minutes, cut it in half, and just make sure that it's cooked all the way through. And when the shrimp are completely cooked, I think I forgot to mention we did salt this water before we put it in. Worst thing you can do with shrimp is overcook them. So we're gonna plunge them straight into ice water. This old recipe is how I always made my lobster rolls. Just a little light curry on them. Morgan's not crazy about lobster. She loved the lobster rolls, so I, she does like shrimp. So I started making them with shrimp, and oh my God, they're outstanding. So now with our thoroughly chilled shrimp, we just wanna cut them in half. If they're smaller ones, we can just leave them. But we want them just to be about bite size. I placed our chopped shrimp in a mixing bowl. And I'm gonna add our onion and our celery. And then I'm gonna do something I never do when I make this. I'm gonna measure the mayonnaise. I'm gonna start with a cup of mayonnaise, mix that in and see what we get. I'm gonna add another half cup. So we're at a cup and a half of Hellman's mayonnaise. And I think that's about gonna do it. Get everything else in there and then we'll see what we get. I start with about a tablespoon of the SMB Oriental curry uh, powder. You know, you could use uh, uh, garam masala or some other type of curry. Uh, you know, it won't be as good, but it wouldn't be terrible. And I can tell by the color that this is gonna need a little bit more. After all, after tasting it, it took about two tablespoons of the SMB curry powder. Salt to taste. It's gonna take about a tablespoon. Yeah, we'll go ahead and throw in our minced cilantro, mix that all up, and we're good to go. All we need to do is have some good quality buns. I use brat buns because they're a little bit bigger and make a beautiful, wonderful holiday shrimp roll. So that's it, just go make them. And thanks again for watching a nice little short episode of Scratch Cook with John. I've got a whole bunch of great ones coming up for you. We're gonna do jerk chicken, I've got carne a la uh, high fung noodles, stay tuned.